This is Amy Zimmer from Holland Hunter Realtors with your Real Estate Minute. Part of house hunting is learning to make compromises. It's unrealistic to assume that you'll find a single property that ticks all the boxes on your wish list. However, home buyers will be best armed for their search by creating a list of must-haves and what you would be willing to sacrifice and be prepared to whittle down the list once you see what's within reach in the marketplace. There are a few areas where it's better to stand your ground and not compromise in your search criteria. Never compromise on your budget. You don't want to be house poor. Talk to a lender before you start your home search so you know what you can afford and get pre-approved. You can change many things about a house, but you can't change its location. In fact, when it comes to buying a home, location is the number one factor to consider. Not only does it impact your enjoyment of your home, it also plays a significant role in the future value of your investment. It's crucial to make sure you're happy with it from the start. Ease of commute is a crucial component to think about when you're buying your home. Other factors go into the location that you are selecting, including how the school district is, the crime rate, and the green space. These all impact the desirability of the neighborhood. Close proximity to important amenities such as local grocery stores, eateries, and shops are also a factor. Consider to your neighbors. The condition of the property around you can affect your future resale value. Make sure you look and listen whenever you visit your prospective home. Are you better suited for a turnkey move-in ready home or a fixer offer? Be honest with yourself about how much renovation work you can handle. And even if the answer is none at all, that's okay. Just kind of keep that in mind. Consider the number of bedrooms and bathrooms that are absolutely necessary. If you're growing your family, think about the future as well. You should anticipate staying in your home for at least the next five years. As you house hunt, plan accordingly. If a home does not fit your minimum criteria in terms of numbers of rooms and the flow of the main living spaces, cross it off your list and move on in your search. Things you may be more flexible on are the lawn size, finished ba basements, specific architecture style, and garage, garage types and locations. If you go into the home buying process with unrealistic notions about what you can afford, you'll only end up frustrated and disappointed. But if you go into the process pre-approved, focused, and armed with a willingness to compromise, you'll have an easier time finding a house that meets most of your needs. It's extremely rare to find a home that checks all of the boxes on your wish list. Go into the process knowing what is important to you and what you can live without. Be flexible to a point, stay practical, prioritize that wish list with the most important items on the top, and know that it's important to have a clear idea about these factors before beginning your home search. Good luck and happy home buying.